Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to see how to install Node.js on a Raspberry Pi Zero W, so the wireless edition of the Raspberry Pi Zero. So um, the reason why I'm making this tutorial is because it's not so obvious when it comes to getting this set up on the Raspberry Pi Zero. So for example, the typical way that one might install Node.js on Linux, which is what the Pi Zero is using, um, is to run the script for Debian or Ubuntu based distributions, which is what Raspbian is. Um, so you'll typically run uh, this curl command and then that adds it to your uh, your app git repository. Uh, the problem with this is that node source doesn't support the version of ARM that the Raspberry Pi Zero uses. So the Raspberry Pi Zero and the standard Raspberry Pi use two very different versions of uh, Node.js because one is ARM version 6, while the other is like ARM 64, or some, some other version of ARM that is supported. Uh, so the ARM version 6 is not supported currently with node source, uh, so we can't use this standard method of installation. Um, but that doesn't mean that we're out of luck, um, so what you, we can actually do is, even, so, even though node source doesn't do it, um, we can actually go to the official Node.js website and go to nodejs.org slash dist, um, and that brings us to all of the uh, compiled Node.js versions. Um, so if we scroll all the way down, um, the latest version as of right now is 9.7.1, uh, which we can click on, um, and then we would actually click on something along the lines of um, Node.js, um, and we want Linux ARM v6l.tar, and preferably we would want the GZ version. Um, so it is, it is available to us. So if we right-click it, I'm going to copy that link address. We're going to use it in, in a future step here. Um, but what I do is I, I am SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi Zero right now. Um, so this is a terminal session for my Raspberry Pi. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to download that file directly onto the Pi itself. So what we can do is we can say curl. Uh, we can say O. Um, and we can give it a name. Let's go ahead and call it something like uh, nodejs.tar. Uh, GZ, and then we can paste in that URL. And what that's going to do is it's going to download uh, that distribution file as the output file that we just named. And it may take a couple seconds. Um, the Raspberry Pi isn't uh, very fast. It's fast enough to run Node.js, um, but the file is, is large enough to where it, it may take some time. All right, so it did finish downloading. Again, you want to make sure if you're using the Raspberry Pi Zero W like I am, that you get the ARM version 6L. Um, the other versions of ARM may be compatible with other versions of the Raspberry Pi, but as of right now, we want the ARM version 6L. So it is downloaded. Um, we can verify that by doing an LS. Uh, what we want to do now is we want to untar this file. Um, so what we can say is tar-xzf and then Node.js, um, and hit enter. So if we look, uh, it actually created a directory, it created that untarred version, and if we navigate into it, we can see what exactly it contains. So it contains a lot of useful stuff, and if you're familiar with Linux, um, you'll notice that this path looks oddly familiar. Um, that's because most of these files are typically found in the user local directory, which is where we're actually going to copy them. So we're going to navigate backwards, so that way we're at the root of our path, and we're going to say copy, and we're going to say hyphen R for recursive. We're going to say node version 9, and then we're going to use asterisk, so that way it gets all files. I'm going to type in slash user, slash local as the path, and then don't forget that trailing slash. We don't want to override local, we just want to copy those files and directories into local. We're going to hit enter. Cannot create permission denied, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and add a sudo in front of this. So it finished. Um, and we can actually validate that it worked, um, and hopefully it worked. We can say node-v. It printed out uh, node.js version 9.71 directly as it should. We're going to say npm-v for the node package manager. And it said 5.6.0, which I, I don't know, I'm assuming that that's the latest, uh, but it did work. 
Um, one thing to note though is that if this is a fresh Raspberry Pi installation, um, most of the node packages, or at least I think all of them for that matter, um, you will need to have Git installed because I think NPM works off of Git. And by default, that's not installed. What you can actually do is you can say sudo apt git install git. And then go ahead and agree. And what that's going to do is that's going to install git. So that way when you do um, npm like uh, install and then the package name, it will obtain the packages without error. And we're going to confirm that everything works real fast as soon as this is done. All right, so Git was finished. Um, let's go ahead and clear our terminal here. Uh, let's go ahead and remove these files. Let's do some cleanup. So we're going to remove the node.js.tar file. We're going to remove the directory. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new directory. So we'll say make directory test. We'll navigate into it. And we'll say npm init hyphen y. So this creates a new package.json file. And we can validate that it's there. Um, so at this point, I'm pretty sure that everything's working as it should. Uh, so just to reiterate, you can't use um, the node source scripts that are in the recommended Linux documentation for package managers. You can't use apt-get to get Node.js. What you have to do is you have to download one of those pre-built distributions. Uh, for the Raspberry Pi 0 W, what we want is the ARM version 6L. If you're using a different version of the Raspberry Pi, you use a different version of ARM. Uh, but after that, we just go ahead and uh, really extract it and then copy the, the contents to our user local uh, directory. And then at that point, everything should be good. Everything should work fine. Uh, remember, Raspberry Pi is not the fastest, but you can still do uh, Node.js development on it um, perfectly fine.